What's good, everybody? It's your boy Showtime. And man, gotta give y'all gotta give y'all exclusive, man. Just another video, another day of the NBA. For um, we gotta talk about the you know the Brooklyn Nets, man. As they keep on striving, keep getting better. They beat the um Cleveland Cavaliers 125-117. Another good win for them. Uh, they, at one point, they was up 20 in this game. Um, Cavaliers went on a run behind Darius Garland to get back in the game. He had 46 points. I mean, he was big time. I mean, Darwin, uh, Darius Garland, I mean, big time score. Um, the Brooklyn Nets have gotten so much. I'm, I'm going to say this. Brooklyn Nets have gotten so much better as a team. Um, they have definitely turned the corner. I like what I'm seeing from, once again, it's from the Brooklyn Nets with um, the length, the fact that they're switching on one through five, they're doing a good job of getting stops when they're trying to get stops. And one thing about the Brooklyn Nets team that I, um, by, by this year, I couldn't say last year, they mm, doing a much better job in four quarters. They're doing a much better job in four quarters. Um, Kevin Durant, he had um, 32 points, nine, nine rebounds, five. He fouled out, and in, 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 um, Kyrie Irving, the number one, um, the, the best closer in the NBA right now, he definitely stepped up and closed the deal out, even though, but despite Kevin Durant fouling out, I mean, um, Kyrie Irving just big time, 32 points, four rebounds, five assists. Efficient 11 through 19, 7 for 11 from the three point line. I mean, they're they're striving right now. Ben Simmons, he he only had four points, he had nine rebounds, eight assists, um, one steal, three um, he had three steals and one block. Once again, ben Simmons ben showing why he's a leak defender, lockdown defender, by the way, one of the best lot one of the best lockdown defenders in the NBA. It's a luxury to have him on the team and a guy that can, a 6'10", that can pretty much guard one through four and some fives. Um, he also, similar like Draymond, get rebound, push the pace, make they play, um, nice plays for himself and the teammates. Um, man, and, and it's a lot about this Brooklyn Nets team. They're, they're clicking, they're gelling. This is the best team they have had in Brooklyn, I think, ever, man. I think this team is... On this way, it's they still got they still got ways to go. I'm not ready to say that they the best team in the NBA. I'm not ready to say they the best team in the Eastern Conference yet. On this um next slide of games, I'm definitely gonna keep my eyes on. They got um the Atlanta Hawks, Charlotte, they got um San Antonio. Chicago, that's a, that's a nice easy stretch right here. Now these games, I'm gonna keep my y'all. Everybody should keep their eyes on the um on January 6th they play New Orleans Pelicans. January 8th, two days after that, Miami Heat, and January 12th, the game right here. This is a statement game right here. They must go out there and make a statement. They there they that. They're here and they're taking over. This is their chance right here, January 12th, against the Boston Celtics. They got to go out there and make it. They got to go out there. And this is not the end all be all, but it's it's about, it's a mental thing, you know? It's a mental thing and it's about like showcasing, like, you know, we're heading, we're, we're a great team. And we're heading in the right direction, and we got a chance to really be one of them teams to come out of the East. Those the wins you really need to show, like, where you at as a team. And, man, I mean, I think this team right here, they're on a nine-game winning streak. I think they can beat the um, Hawks, Charlotte, San Antonio, Chicago. I mean, those are pretty easy wins right there. Um, also, Prince, like, they should get – if they if they if they do what they supposed to do, they should better get um Atlanta, Charlotte. Um they should have 13 game winning streak. Atlanta, San Antonio, and Chicago. 
that those will be easy wins for them. Uh, we'll see. I take one day at a time. All those, all those things going to be better. This is a very competitive year. The teams you will think not going to be good, they're good. So, yeah, I think it was a pretty good win for the um, Brooklyn Nets. Credit to to um, Jock Vaughn once again. He's doing a, best, a very good, good job of turning this defense around. Very good job of putting players in, in their spots and roles and making them feel comfortable. Udo out there doing his thing. TJ Warren is big time, by the way, 21 points. Got to give him credit. I mean, TJ Warren has been big time for the Brooklyn Nets. Major pickup right there. And um, I think this team is headed to the right direction. Got to see more. And as far as Kevin Durant, Kevin Durant should be Kevin Durant. The, the disrespect of Kevin Durant got to stop, bro. I mean, we got to stop this stuff, bro. It's funny how it, nobody, and again, nobody's saying anything about this. Everybody's quiet on Kevin Durant. They were just talking to Noah's about the man two months ago. Now everybody's quiet. So it's, it's just sad. And it just show you how the world we live in, you know, everybody, everybody got something to say. You know, when it comes to the negative stuff, man, and everybody got something negative to say, especially against Kevin Durant. And I realized something, man. We don't hold, we don't, we don't, we don't keep the same energy for us like other superstars we do with Kevin Durant because of the narrative that he needed Golden State to win. So even if another team, they're gonna find some way. Some old to slight him. And I realized that and I think that's very unfair on Kevin Durant, man. You just gotta appreciate a great player when you see him. I mean, I think this is Kevin Durant best year. In my opinion, this is his best year. Uh this one it's probably his best this can potentially be his best individual year of his career. And I know that sounds crazy, but I'm just looking at his total overall game. Because he go to state, he didn't pull, he had to pull out the full package. He was on a um, really good team. Even Oklahoma City, that 2014 year, that was amazing. But I think this one right here, this is to me, this is his best overall season so far. If he continue to play like this, this could end up being his best season in his whole career. And probably my favorite um, kid ran regular season. But there's a lot of work to be done. That's just my take on it, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Get in that comment section. Light it up. And um, man, we'll see you next video, man. So, look.